Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, have you seen that new feature on uh, YouTube here where it's called time stamping? And it allows us creators to go down here and create this time stamp so that you can more quickly access maybe only the information in the video that you want. So like for example here, if I wanted to see close up, go here, boom, moves me right to that part of the video. It's allowing us for uh, the ability to go back to longer content and still kind of serve you uh, for the shorter, quicker stuff. So look for it in all our videos in the future and let's get started on this one. Super stoked to announce a collaboration with PropTech Tools. Uh, we will have access to all these in the future, but for right now, check out all their social links and get familiar with them. We are. Uh, to We really wanted an inline four-cylinder motorcycle to do this. And the funny thing is, like, every bike in the shop happens to be a V-twin from the Ducatis to the Suzukis. I, when I say every, I better be careful. We had a couple single-cylinder dirt bikes. But my Chopper, my two Ducatis, my DL, two DLs, my Harley, my RC51, my track bike, everything's a, a V-twin. And we really wanted to showcase what these could do, these amazing fellows over at PropTech. Uh, I'll get into this in a second. On an inline four-cylinder. I mean, might as well get right into it. You know, you've probably been following along. If you haven't, you better subscribe. Uh, we're doing carbs, and we found all these problems with pinched wires and stuff left unhooked and whatnot. So as we do our how to wrench fine-tuning, we um, had talked to uh, Cespa. I believe. I hope that's how I pronounce your name, buddy. Man, that's uh, I'm not good with these foreign languages. But uh, our pal over there, he's been training me and sending me some videos and some how-tos. And the dudes from like World Superbike Racing, all kinds of experience, factory training, and they've been developing diagnostic tools for years over there. And they're really bringing these products in the US. So we are like, we were super interested when we first saw it. I saw some content went, what? You can do what? And that was on this guy. This was a, uh, a carb sink or throttle body sink tool that actually plugs into a laptop and allows you not just the typical hey, are my four gauges the same? I'm not digging on this, I'm not digging on this, but I dig high-tech stuff, but it allows you to like overlap the channels, you know, on a screen, fine tune it. You think about the racing world, makes total sense. But it's the same exact hoses, you know, to hook up against vacuum gauges. So why not? If you have it and you have technology, why wouldn't you use it? But you can really, uh, I've seen some cool stuff where on their acceleration, how they're, you know, overlaying them. And it's also telling health of the engine too. You know, can you even sink it? If you can't sink your carbs, you got something else going on. Um, and like I said, for the modern bikes, you know, not on V-twin, multi-cylinder this way. But like on my, my Suzuki's, on my DL's, um, on the RC51, you could do throttle bodies too. So super stoked about that one. Uh... I'm not going to spill all the beans on this because a couple of our pals uh, in the content world, uh, I've seen they have this tool too. So I'm, I'm going to make it a how to wrench special. I think there's something really, really, really cool we can do with this that the automotive world does on a more regular basis. If you think you know what it is, feel free to guess. Comment below. We're just current testing and it's an oscilloscope and it's, it's, I'm so excited. So excited that we're going to be able to bring such modern technology um into the to motorcycle world as far as diagnostics i think this thing's gonna be a super game changer this uh this this one too and then last but not least uh i just first off says but thank you for choosing how to wrench as one of your uh companies to produce some high quality content for you and how-to videos but th this one was a surprise um it's, it's ridiculously cool and that is it's an ability to check your chassis with lasers. Uh, and of course it's computerized. Why would they do anything less, right? So you can actually measure all the points of the chassis. And let me show you real quick what you, what you got going on here. So you got these uh, base, or these poles that go through the chassis like here. So it goes through a hollow shaft and then you're gonna put your lasers and attachments. You can see one in the rear axle here. And then there's a bunch of adapters and threaded fittings. It's, it's unbelievably set up to be pretty universal, it looks like already. We don't even have it fully open. But, uh, you know, then you're mounting these lasers on there. I still got to learn how to use the dang thing. But even check this out. How freaking cool is this? Look at this. 
I mean, and, and you got to remember, this is going to be rigidly mined, stable, and so you're taking and going to measure something. Maybe you have a perfectly good brand new bike, your dealer, and you're like, hey, what's the specific specification stock? And then customer goes out and wrecks a bike, you can go, hey, now I can compare it against a known good one. Um, or you're, you're a racer and you're trying to dial your chassis in and you want to, you know, just micro measure all the, uh, con you know, all the specifications of your chassis and how it worked and what it's doing. Maybe you're really high tech and like changing up uh, steering geometry and everything. Here it is. You can collect all the data, all these different adapters and whatnot. So I'm, I'm going to really have to count on uh, the peeps over at, Pro at Prop Tech. I'll put some links below to this stuff already just so you can kind of that teaser reel uh, for it on what's coming up. But I I'm really going to count on them. They're going to train us. They're going to teach us. Uh, the thing is what I've already seen from him, this has so many more capabilities than we're even thinking of how to use it. They're that far, I think, ahead over there on diagnostic uh, tuning and capabilities. So I've got to chat with the boys a few times and uh, I, I can't say enough. I mean, stupid impressed. I'm just super bummed uh, with the whole COVID thing and just how much it's put us behind as far as the amount of uh, time available, you know, for me to knock this stuff out. So, you know, we had the shutdown with the state and that, you know, says behind and so on. But I, I just couldn't wait anymore. I wanted to start getting the stuff laid out. You know, the bike's finally here and on the lift. Super stoked about everything we've been doing with this anyway. So big shout out to Patrick for, uh, you know, choosing us. Uh, parts are supposed to be in here next week so we can actually uh, knock out the uh, the carbs on this and like rehook up stuff correctly. <laughs> super, super stoked about uh, hearing what he has to say after his first ride. But all right, we are going to get back at it. So if you haven't done so, Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.